Welcome back. Up next, we have BB Entertainment. And so Manifest came into Ghana. We had the opportunity to interview him, and it was quite interesting too. So let's take a look at this. After having been born and raised in Accra, Ghana for 18 years, this young hip-hop artist decided it was time to migrate to the US, where he released his critically acclaimed debut album, Manifestations, in 2007, after realizing there was no reason to be afraid to show his talent anymore. His grandfather, the great Kwabena Nketiah, known for his African music compositions and theory, influenced him significantly in his life. He has shared the stage with some of Africa's finest and has worked with an impressive lineup of people in the international music industry, but has come to realize that the people that truly understand every word of his music are at home. With his latest track Suffer showing on BBC and throughout Ghana, he has stirred both the international and local airwaves, proving that he is capable of influencing people around the world with his music. He allowed Be Bold to pick his brain and welcomed us into his studio where he was recording some tracks for his new album. With a new album coming up and exciting collaborations with some of the world's greatest artists, Manifest has a lot in store for us for the coming years. But through it all, he wants us all to remember. <laughs> We gon' spread what I want someday We gon' fly away We gon' spread what I want someday Manifest, just so you know Young and old, every so Be, be bold. bold! Hey everybody, we're here This is Be Bold, we're here with Manifest, our one and only We've been following him for a while now and we're just so excited that he's finally in Accra and we got a chance to just sit down with him here and just have a talk. So, Manifest, <laughs> welcome to Accra. Thank you, welcome thank you. Welcome to the Be Bold Show. Thank you, it's an honor being here. Yes, thank it you is, for being it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I've heard so much about you. I've even met you before, but I did not <laughs> know who you were. I was just yes. telling you about mm -hmm. that, which is mm -hmm. hilarious. Mm -hmm. um, can you please just start with telling us a bit about yourself? Myself, um, the name is Manifest, aka M. Da 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 Sido. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was born and raised in Accra, Ghana, where we are located. Medina, to be specific. Medina, New York. Shout out. Um, I basically spent the first good 18 years of my life here. I've always been musically and artistically inclined. But I used to be frightened and petrified <laughs> to share my talents. So I was, I was always very casual about music. But I, I became a full-fledged musician sometime post-college. Talking about growing up, mm -hmm. I know that your, your grandfather is mm -hmm. Kwabna and Ketia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, how has that influenced you as a musician? Has that actually made you want to be a musician? How did that well, it was an uncanny influence without me even knowing in the beginning. We, I grew up in the same household, literally, as him. So, till today, in, in Medina, we're in the same household. But um, just watching him being very diligent uh, in being a composer, an intellectual, and a humble man, I think had an uncanny influence on me growing up without me even noticing. I'm um, just seeing how, how much he's done musically. Uh, I have a story that I tell, <laughs> which is interesting <laughs> because when I was younger, I used to try and look for empty cassettes or cassettes uh, from his study to, yeah. to record my hip hop over some of his uh, field work, etc. So in the process of trying to determine which of the tapes was blank or was important, I inevitably ended up listening to a lot of the music that he had, you know. So, so and so whether it's from Tanzania, Zimbabwe, etc. Some a lot incredible music, whether it's some xylophone music from North Ghana, etc. So I, I learned a lot without even knowing. So when I became older as a teenager, when I was more interested in even the records that he had, etc., then it just came alive. So definitely, I mean, I'm, I'm privileged to have had him as grandpa first, but then as a great musician to, to model after in some ways, you know. So now you've been working with uh, a group 
call yourself the African Rebel Movement? Ah, yes, ARM. Uh, can you tell us a bit about what that is? Ah, ARM. I mean, one of the the fascinating things about, I guess, traveling is that yeah, we, all, we we discover how similar other Africans are because when you end up in a in the U.S., then in, when you're in Ghana, you know, we think of ourselves Ghanaians, and even even with Nigerians, we think there's a rivalry, you know. That's but true. we discover more of the similarities, and so with ARM, I met this individual from Uganda called Crooked, or formerly known as Crooked, um, and he was a fantastic, you know, lyricist. Who, who spoke about some of the same things I spoke about, you know, we could, we could, we're both writers that, you know, came from this African perspective and we just clicked and, uh, and then we met this Jewish cat that was his friend, uh, uh, that had, was an incredible producer and so we, so, you know, we're two Africans and a Jew, essentially, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we call ourselves and, um, and we just clicked, so we clicked musically and life story wise which is very important because the music is not contrived and it can never be if you want it to be powerful so I met Crooked and that's how ARM came about you know Crooked and Budo and it was very organic um, we, we did not even live in the same cities but we could get together and the first day we got together we did uh, three or four songs together very easily effortlessly so I, I, I think it's important with music and art to always it's a collaborative process whether it's with other musicians or uh, or other vocal musicians or other you know instrumental musicians. So that that's ARM. It's a project that um, has occupied part of my time between putting out manifestations in 2007 and getting ready for this one. Immigrant.